Living the motherfucking dream. Welcome to my office. So this is Maiden Voyage. Just right up the Steepberg here. See how it feels alright? Stem. Bit upright, bit long. I'm going to put it shorter on there. Again, this is personal preference. Personal preference. So far, so good though. And I've got an eastern stem here. Nothing, I just got this cheap on online, so I just well, go over the eastern, works good. And this is a top lock, so make sure you have it done at the top. I've got some tools on the job here. I'm going to, it's a 110, I might flip it as well, slam it a bit. Again, personal preference. And you can see it's just a little bit shorter. Which is a good stem. I just, this one's a little bit long, so I've got a little shorter one. There you go. And here we go. So we slam that stem. Okay, personal preference. I don't normally slam stems, but because it's got a tall head tube, I could uh, do it on this bike. But it's beautiful there. Got the reflector as well. So I left that on there for the haters. Haters gonna hate. Climbs pretty good. But it does have a very, very relaxed front end. It's not a very, it's very endurance spec. It's not that aggressive. So you can run a more aggressive setup if you want. But the climb's pretty good. The gearing's really good. 22, 36. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I could probably even run a 20 on there. The, a 40 on the back would even be better. But no, that's, it, the ride is very high quality. It's very comfortable. Yeah, it's, very comfortable. It's, not, it's not an aggressive geometry. It's pretty relaxed and chill. But the ride quality is really smooth. It feels really good. And this is where I've ridden up. Excuse the sweaty camera. Just ridden the Santa Monica Mountains. Up uh, top of Kenta here. Beautiful. Spectacular. Spectacular. The home point has been a takeoff. <laughs> Ready? Bye. Yeah. So overall verdict on the Motor Vacan Phantom Pro TI 29er. I would say it's not a full-blown race bike, it's more of an enduro bike, good for touring. You could load this motherfucker up with some bike packing bags and just go for fucking broke. And here's some pedals here we have, this is a bit of an extra review, Shimano A530, I put those on. These are a great pedal introduction if you're traveling, running with sneakers, running with the clip-ins. Today we're running the Bonts, you can run them with anything. So this is a good bike, it's even got reflectors in there, hey, just gotta hate. But it's beautiful, it's a very cruisy bike. If you're gonna go for fucking Strava KOMs, the geometry's a little bit more chilled out, but it's, if you wanna do fucking epic shit, Everesting, 24 hour rides, touring, fucking across anywhere, then it would be a good option for that. So ride quality's really good. Uh, spec componentry, the gear and ratio, thumbs up to Moto Bacana for that. There you go, that's my review. Got any questions, let us know down below. Santa Monica in the house.